Like this one. <laughs> Boom! How that worked, I will never know, but fair play. Nice, good stun. <laughs> that worked perfectly! And we jump back on the gen. <laughs> he fell for it! I had no charges left! I had no charges left on the fucking toolbox. Yo, guys, what's going on? I am Connor Sparky. This is my phase five uh, RC response, I guess. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself. Feel free to call me Sparky or Connor. Connor Sparky. If I had the Twitch name just Sparky, I would take that. But there you go. Someone else has taken it. Um, This is, yeah, like I say, this is the part where we're going to introduce myself and, and just talk about the questions that I've been asked to answer. Uh, regarding the phase RC, so I guess we'll go straight into it. Um, I've got a couple of notes in front of me, because I'm horrible at this, but I'll get better over time, I promise you. I'm not very good at recording videos uh, at the moment, mainly because I stream. It's easier for me to just put the video on, put the stream on, and just sit there and chill, uh, which is a lot of the time what I usually do. Uh, but I'm trying to get better at YouTube as well, so we're kind of, we're still on a bit of a love-hate relationship, me and YouTube, but we're, we're getting there. So the first question, what are you passionate about? And the quick answer to that is, Creating a community that uh, cares about others, that's positive, that gives positive vibes back from people that might necessarily be having, or might not necessarily be having a good day, might be having a bad day. Um, I want to create a platform, really, uh, an area on Twitch where people can join and feel welcome and feel accepted and uh, not have to worry about um, what other people think, really. I want to eventually get to the stage where I can, you know, help out others with... Uh, the platform that I have, whether that's by charity events, raising money, uh, things like that, I'd love to be able to make a difference and an impact in the community, especially in the gaming community. Um, I know a lot of people that I insp oh, I uh, aspire to be similar to. One of them is Dr. Lupo. He's a great streamer. He's raised millions of uh, millions upon millions of dollars for St. Jude's uh, Hospital and other charities as well, uh, organizations that he's helped out. Spread awareness to a lot of charities that would have flown under the radar for a lot of people as well. Um, I want to get to that stage. I want to be able to make an impact uh, with the community that I have and I build up. Uh, the second question, who or what currently inspires you? And this is probably something that a lot of people will probably just, you know, be talking about, oh, Face Clan or whatever, you know, other people that I look up to. I don't really look up to anybody, in all honesty. There are people that I obviously take inspiration from, especially through streaming, as I've just mentioned, Dr. Lupo as an example, Tim the Tapman, Summit 1G, all these big uh, Twitch streamers all do a similar kind of thing and create this community around them uh, using their own personality and it kind of differs upon person but um, I don't really have anybody in particular that I look up to as such. I kind of do my own thing. I take things day by day um, and I don't really want to get to that stage where I feel like I need to in order to copy somebody. I want to be my own person. I want to be unique. I want to branch out naturally as I would um, and do ideas, perform ideas, make videos, make streams, make content that I like and not have to compare to anybody else. Um, how long have you been creating content online? That is a good question. That is a very good question. I have been around for years. I used to be in the Call of Duty community back in, I would say I started in 2012, around the time I think Modern Warfare 3 was out. Um, but I've played, I used to play all the Call of Duties. I used to be in loads of trick shot clans and all that stuff, but I kind of branched out. I, st I started getting a bit bored of it. Um, and I found a kind of niche with my streams that I really enjoyed when I did VR chat. I used to do VR virtual reality streams and they went really well. And I built up my core community with that. And then I started branching out to other games. And I'd say the main game I play right now is Dead by Daylight. I'd say 90, 95% of the, uh, streams I do are on Dead by Daylight. And, um, and I really enjoy it. Despite the game having its flaws, I feel, I feel like there's a lot of content creation potential uh, within that game and within the community for that game that 
FaZe Clan are definitely missing out on, and I think I could prioritize. I could definitely fit in the market there and and be that guy, that FaZe member that plays Dead by Daylight. I feel like people would be really interested in. Um, what are the talents uh, that you're most proud of or excited to share? Well, that's a question I don't really have an answer to. I don't. I wouldn't say I have much talent, to be honest with you. I think I'm just a core, down-to-earth person. I guess I have fairly good people skills, I would imagine. I think I'm quite good in front of people, people that I don't know. Um, I work in a shop at the moment. A lot of people would come up to me and ask questions, and I'm the sort of person that, you know, I'm quite naturally in my element when I'm speaking to people, when I'm responding to people, answering questions. Same on stream. I feel like I'm quite good at answering, keeping up with chat trying to be fairly active, and at the same time, being entertaining for everybody. It's quite a balance, especially with streaming, to be able to keep it up for multiple hours, instead of just a YouTube video where you can put all your effort into a video for like 30 minutes of recording, and then, boom, you can sync and just start editing, you know? Um, I don't really like doing that sort of stuff. I like to show my personality through core elements. I don't need the fancy editing in order to get you guys to be interested, you know what I mean? I would hope, anyway. Why do you want to join FaZe Clan? The final question. Um... Effectively, it would allow me to grow my fan base. Obviously, it would allow me to collaborate with a lot of other members in FaZe, people that are related to FaZe in some way, one way or another. Um, promoting positivity. I want to promote an area, again, like I've already mentioned, positive vibes, chill vibes, people feeling welcome, accepted uh, in my own community and within the community. Um, obviously, the within the community is a lot more broad but I feel like that can easily be achieved with a lot of positive influences, uh, including myself. And if I can collaborate with like-minded individuals, I feel like I'd have a I'd have a great time. Um, so that's it for the questions. I don't really want to take up too much more time. I know there's millions of responses to get through. Consider me. That's all I'm saying. I've got tons of streams. I stream six days a week on Twitch, Sunday through to Friday, uh, from about 4 p.m. UK time. Of course, I'm from the UK. English accent. Um, the next part of this video will just be uh, little clips that I didn't make or didn't make it into the initial one minute response, the little eye catching bit. Um, just a load of, you know, little bits and bobs. Don't want to make it too long of a video, but I hope you guys enjoy. Face Sparky, phase up, and uh, love you guys. All the love today, and not just today, all the other days too. Dutty Gilbert wants to select your equipment for this match. You want, you want to select my equipment? Go for it. Best flashlight you can equip. Boom. Boom, boom. I'm feeling it. Dutty Gilbert wants you to drop the item you're holding and leave it there forever. What is he doing? <laughs> 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 